Hello and welcome back to my channel. Halloween is just around the corner and when you think of Halloween you think about pets and when I think about pets I think about one particular pet. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so first of all we will bring our background here this one while holding alt and shift drag from the corner until it fits okay then I think now it's okay second I'll bring black color and add to the background like so and in the background layer and this background layer I will make a lip mask and with the brush faded normal brush soft rounded brush like this make it a little bit smaller and remove this part from here to make the edges a bit smoother then I will put this both in one group and rename it BG or background ok secondly we can bring this main character I already cut it before you can bring any selection tool and try to select it I already did this before then right click convert to smart object then copy it ctrl C and go to this here ctrl D like so try to position it we will edit all this later then I will put it in a group and rename this Batman ok we can close this for now then with the moon I already cut it also before you can bring this selection tool and cut it control C control V and I will put it somewhere around here And also I'll put it in a group and rename it moon so now we have the moon and Batman but I want the moon to be under Batman okay then now I can close this we don't need it anymore then let's try to bring our bats also to finish everything then we will edit do the edits later let's take this with the lasso tool then the move tool take it and drag it around here maybe we can make it a little bigger ctrl T drag from the corner until you think it's best then let's choose another one I will add only three to make some differentiation let's take this one like so with the lasso tool then copy oh it didn't come sorry can remove this one let's take it with the move tool better yeah now it's okay control T make it a little bit bigger ok right click flip horizontal and I will put this on the edge here maybe I can adjust its size just a touch ok let's bring the last one maybe we can take this one here I think maybe this one is ok we can take this one move tool and drag it here control T or let me put them all in one group and rename this put it on top and rename it bat or bats 
Okay, now we finished everything. We can close this, we don't need it. We finished, we brought all the items we needed in this file. Now it's time for the edits. First of all, let's go to the background. Select the background and go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and try to choose mount, I think. I think around four or three will be okay. Okay, this one is fine, 3.2 see the before and after it gives depth to the image okay so this is the background for the moon on top of the moon I will add a new layer and bring the brush with a white brush you can press here to make it black and white then make the brush a little bit bigger with one depth like so and change the blending mode to screen so now we give the moon his light around it Okay, the moon is casting colors over Batman from this side and the color is white. So inside the Batman group, I will first add curves to adjust its brightness. It's obviously it's too bright. So I'll bring down the lightness like so, maybe some more. And add one point here for the contrast. Maybe I can make it more dark. You know, Batman is always known for his dark side. So let's make the whole image give the feel of dark and green because the background have more green so I will make everything darker and having this kind of green tint. Then on the mask of the curves layer I'll try with the black color to remove some of the effect on his side to add some sort of frame lights, the lights coming from behind him. Removing just a touch from all the sides. Then I will add a new layer and clip it to affect only Batman. Then with the white color selected, I will add this. First I will add a big amount and then I will reduce from it. This method turns out to be the best method I got so far to do this. First we add a big amount, then with faded brushes you can remove it. Let's make it a whole lot easy, like so. Just painting white. Then I will make A mask for this layer mask for this layer and with the black color selected on the mask I will reveal from inside this gives it a better way to control making the brush a bit bigger and erasing just erasing what I added before and leaving only just one line as if the light is hitting him from behind to make him belong more to the scene because the moon is casting white color on him so he must have some sort of rim light on his edges like so remove I guess now it's looking better if we see remove it before and after you can see the difference before after I guess now it's much better but I also can reduce opacity I guess 70 will be okay yes okay on top of this I will add a new layer a new adjustment layer uh, you uh, black and well, sorry uh, color balance layer and I will add some sort of green see before and after before and after now it's belonging much better to the scene okay time for the beds this one first I will add curves then clip it decrease the lightness of the bed and also I add one point here for the contrast as usual 
this one which one is this this one this one will be affected more by the light of the moon so I will do the same but with some edits I will first make the brightness much higher because it's affected with this but in the mask of this layer I will remove it from this side so this side must be darker than the other side the other side is brighter and this side is <coughs> darker sorry and also we'll do the same with the third bed make it much higher then see before and after on top of the group of beds I will add this one no not even saturation layer let me remove this one I want to add some color balance layer and also I will add green but to the whole group to affect them all at once yes and add some greens to the scene see before and after now everything in the scene is greenish so they look all as if they are only one picture In the beds, this one, no, I need this one, yes, this one, I can convert it to smart object first, then go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and add some, uh, sorry, motion blur, and add some motion blur to give it some sort of movement and make the scene more alive, maybe I can adjust the angle to 20 and reduce this to oh, about about it is okay okay see the before and after it gives some movement to the scene and make it more alive okay then it's time for our magical beloved filter on top of everything alt control shift e to make a screenshot convert to smart object and then camera row filter Let's tweak it a little bit inside camera row filter. It adds some contrast and bobs the colors, whatever you want to do inside the camera row. First, we will add some green, obviously, to the to the whole image, and maybe we'll try to add some blues. Then reduce the exposure a little bit, make the contrast a little bit bit higher, reduce the highlights and the shadows. And in the texture, I want to add some texture and the clarity, no, maybe just one plus, dehaze it a little bit. Let's try the vibrance, no, make it zero. Okay, in the split tuning, I will add some greens to the highlights and also greens to the shadows. It's all about greens in this see now now it's blending even more and also my beloved fx then i'll add vignette to the scene to add some sort of dark mood to the whole image see before and after before and after before and after now i guess it's okay so this is our final image piece of cake and that's it for today, see you next time, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share and ring the bell, see you next time, bye bye.